Well, finally tonight, the Vatican continues its busy schedule, highlighting the dedication of the month of May to the Blessed Virgin Mary. Twice a week this month, a prayer and procession dedicated to Our Lady takes place in the Vatican Basilica. Honoring the Blessed Virgin, the month of May is a practice that dates from the 16th century when St. Philip Neri taught young men to place flowers at images of the Mother of God. Joining us now from Rome is Father Joseph Roche, Vicar General of the Marians of the Immaculate Conception. Father, thank you so much for your time today. We appreciate it. Um, if you don't mind, uh, can you tell us a little bit more about why the Catholic Church dedicates the month of May to the Blessed Virgin? Well, it goes back centuries. It goes back to ancient Rome and the ancient Greeks. They had spring festivals to goddesses of, of fertility and of flowers. And then the church began to take some of those traditions over and dedicate time to Mary and processions to Mary and uh, devotion to the Blessed Virgin Mary. There was also a month that was dedicated to Mary, which usually took place in September throughout the history of the church. And it was really in the 1900s, uh, the 19th century, really the 1800s, that things really began to coalesce. Uh, and it's it, what we know now, May processions, uh, uh, crowning the Blessed Mother, a statue of the Blessed Mother, praying the rosary. These kind of traditions really came coalesced in the 1800s. And that's so interesting. And also, can you tell us maybe about the ways that your community uh, celebrates the Blessed Virgin in May? Well, we're an international community, so we have some men working in Fatima. There was just a huge uh, crowd on, on May 13th in Fatima, and uh, we have a hotel there, so we were very happy that the pilgrims have come back. We have men who uh, hear confessions there. We're in Poland. We have one of the largest Marian shrines next to Częstochowa. It's called Our Lady of Lehen, and there's great devotion to Mary there. Many pilgrims coming there. Many uh, during May, they have something called the Marian Appeal, which is sort of like an evening prayer dedicated to Mary. Of course, the rosary is very popular. There are processions there. In the United States, we have the Shrine of the Divine Mercy, and of course, there are devotions to Mary. Um, each day, we're, we're very dedicated to Mary. The Marians, we ourselves pray the rosary uh, each day. That's part of our uh, tradition. And then in Africa, we have uh, right near the shrine of Our Lady of Kibeho in Rwanda, we have a beautiful Marian formation center with a large statue of the Divine Mercy. And of course, Marian devotion is very popular there. So throughout the world, uh, we are sons of Mary, and we try to bring her devotion to the faithful. That's wonderful. And speaking of devotions, um, do you have maybe any advice for the faithful on Marian devotions that, you know, they can do that might be helpful for the rest of the month? Well, we in our uh, houses, in our religious houses, we usually pray the Litany of Loretto. And there's some beautiful new uh, invocations that uh, Pope Francis has uh, included, including uh, the, uh, the person, uh, Mary, as the one who gives solace to the migrants and the mother of mercy. So each day we pray that litany. Of course, as I said, part of our uh, tradition is the rosary. So we pray the rosary every day, and that's something that if families can pray the rosary together, it's a beautiful way of bringing families together. As Father Patrick Payton used to say, the family that prays together stays together. And so the rosary and litanies and, and the Angelus uh, is a beautiful prayer that we pray in morning, noon, and evening. So it's all ways of bringing our lives closer to Mary. And Mary is our mother. Jesus gave her to us from the cross. Uh, and she takes care of us. She takes care of her children, so she'll look out for us. So I would just say, pray the Hail Mary each day, at least. And Father Joe, before I let you go, we have just a little bit of time left, but I'm wondering, um, you know, anything else that you would like to share with us uh, about this month? Well, uh, I can remember when I was uh, a seminarian uh, participating in uh, May processions and uh, the little May queens uh, uh, crowning the Blessed Mother. And May is, is a month that usually takes place during the Easter season, and so very often there's First Communions at that time. And so I think it's so important that we inculcate Marian devotion in the children from the, uh, from the beginning, because we, they need the formation. They need that uh, um, understanding that Mary is our mother and Mary will lead us to Jesus. And so whatever we can do to keep these traditions going for the children in our lives and in our families, uh, I think the Blessed Mother will be very happy. Yeah, very well said. Thank you so much, Father Joe. We appreciate it. God bless you.